Oh, Drew, and thank you, and hello to everybody. Good evening. I almost said good morning since it's morning here, uh, but I'm so thankful to be with all of you today. Before we get started, I, since we're a family here, I wanted to introduce you to my new baby, and she's getting so big, so this is hard now to lift her up here, but this is Oakley. She's a Neolife baby, and I'm going to put her down now. She um, absolutely loves her salmon oil plus and carotenoid complex. Um, she got into a carotenoid complex the other day and it was quite gross, um, but also her vitamin E. So I, I have to say that I was a little nervous to get her because um, I travel quite a bit for my role with Neolife since we do business in over 50 countries. And I was thinking I'd be gone too much, but it's really turned out to be perfect timing since we're all stuck at home now. Um, and it's also given me empathy for all the parents who are working from home out there and raising little ones. You are my heroes. Um, I want to say thank you as well before we get started to just all the uh, people who are working in essential businesses who are still out there every day helping us live our lives you know, whether it's in medical field or farming or delivery, we're just so thankful for you. As well as for those in our Neolife family, um, this is really an unprecedented time, as Drew said earlier. It's, it's really become more important than ever that we're prepared to adapt to what is going on. I think for our health and safety and sanity, as well as for our economic circumstances. So depending on where you're from and what you do, who you live with, the COVID-19 situation, it's really impacting us all in different ways. But I think the one thing that is universal is just the uncertainty that's surrounding us. And the goal of this webinar is to really just explore relevant and timely information that's gonna help you not only survive, but to thrive in these uncertain times. So we're gonna look at a few main topics. First of all, how COVID-19 is affecting our economy today and into the future. We're also gonna look at what this means for those in the gig economy and how to position yourself to win. And then we're gonna shift in, or we're gonna look at how do we shift into the future of work and create a meaningful and purpose-driven life. So let's get started. How is COVID-19 affecting our economy? Well, this crisis is really different than the others that we've seen in the past because it didn't start as a financial crisis. You know, there was no tech bubble or real estate bubble that bursted. This is a global health crisis. And COVID-19 has fundamentally challenged our assumptions of how the world works. At this moment, we are both in a lockdown. Um, I hear that yours is a little stricter than ours, where you can't even walk your dog outside. Um, but who would have imagined that a day would come in our lifetimes where we're ordered by the government to stay in our homes, where we can't go out to dinner with friends or shake hands with someone you just met or even go to work. And we don't know if this is going to last three months, six months, one year. But the consensus is that if things don't get better soon, we really haven't seen anything yet in terms of the impact to, our, to jobs and the economy. And we're already starting to see businesses getting separated into categories. So those that thrive, those that survive, and then those that just disappear. So I'll share my screen and I wanna take a look at a few examples. So I don't know if you are having the same panic um, in South Africa that we're having here with toilet paper, uh, but let's look at a thriving business. So one of our big retailers, uh, Walmart, said that they sold enough toilet paper for every American to have their own role in just the past five days. So they're definitely thriving. Um, another thriving business is vitamins. Vitamin sales are up 93% year over year in March. 
And I think what's happening is that for a lot of people, this has served as a wake up call that we need to really prioritize healthy living. Um, there are also a lot of disappearing businesses though, or businesses that are just surviving. And um, one of those, Oh, well, actually, I wanted to go over one more thriving business that I read about this morning. I don't know if this is true, actually, but an article um, about your consumer behavior in South Africa during COVID-19 said that more people are buying pineapples. And I was like, why would that be? And I realized it's because uh, you guys have an alcohol ban. So evidently, more people are buying pineapples and making their own alcohol at home. Um, but on the flip side of that, you have a barely surviving or maybe even out of business industry, which is the alcohol industry, as well as restaurants. Um, they're one of the many sectors that have been hit very hard. And I'm pretty sure your statistics would be close to what ours are here in the U.S., where the National Restaurant Association is estimating that 3% of restaurants have permanently closed not just temporarily, but permanently, and 70% have already laid off workforce. So this is a terrible time for pretty much everyone in the hospitality industry. Now, uh, if we look at the, what the UN's labor, International Labor Organization is saying, they expect that the COVID-19 crisis will wipe out the equivalent of 195 million full-time workers globally. That's in the second quarter of 2020. Um, that's already becoming a reality in both of our countries. I don't have statistics for South Africa on this, but in the US, over the last three weeks, 16.8 million Americans have filed for unemployment. So those are people who are newly filing. Um, unemployment in South Africa is expected to rise to over 50%. That is crazy. And so all of this is really uh, highlighting the wealth disparity in your country. Uh, this is, I, I found interesting, it was a, a survey was done where it showed that um, based on the National Income Dynamics Survey, seven million people who are those on the right-hand side are living a, mil a middle-class lifestyle. But then those on the left-hand side, 50 million, are falling below that. And what is being said is that they're likely to be needing to use public transportation, public health care, and they don't have the financial margin to be able to stock up on supplies that we need, uh, like groceries and those kind of things. Um, they're also not able to join in on all the panic buying that's going on. And it's estimated that most of them are at least one right away from a supermarket, one taxi right away from a supermarket. Um, and just before the, the lockdown that we had here in the U.S., I went on an annual like girls trip with my friends and my mom to Mexico. And it was really crazy just to see things unfold in the news as this realization started to hit of how big this actually was. Uh, over just three or four days, everything changed. One of the girls... Um, on the trip, she works in sales for a, this company that puts on like training and fitness camps for kids through Nike. Um, and as soon as she got back to her office, she was forced to lay off three people that reported to her because like the reality is no one's going to send their children to a camp right now. Um, and like that is not a unique story. I'm sure all of you have like, know somebody or have personally been affected like that with everything that's going on. And now I can't tell you how much I hope that all of these projections and all of this news is just a big exaggeration. But if it's not, what can we do to prepare ourselves? And like, what about the millions of people in the gig economy? So over the last few years, we've really seen this massive cultural shift taking place where more and more people have realized that the typical nine to five job, it's not giving them the economic freedom they once hoped for. And so they've chosen gig employment. They're saying, I want the freedom to decide where I work, how I work, who I work with. 
And whether it's part-time or full-time, this includes all sorts of work, gig opportunities. So it could be things like Uber drivers or maybe graphic designers, computer programmers, carpenters, um, photographers, hairstylists, you, you name it. Uh, I also saw this morning that this new article in the South African um, news journal. And so they, they said that post pandemic employment, freelance work may be the only option for many people. But what, so that's exciting, right? Freelance work is going to be a good option, you'd assume, based on this article. But then what I also found interesting is that in the article, they reference a study that was done by the South Southern African Freelancers Association showing that 50% of the respondents who are freelancers, gig workers, have lost more than 70% of their income. And so this is a little bit shocking, right? 70% of their income. This, they're saying that gig economy opportunity work is supposed to be the future. So what does this actually mean for people in the gig economy? And will you be left behind? I believe the answer is it really depends. Because as we can see with gig economy, with gig opportunities, there's a catch. Smart entrepreneurs are quickly realizing that a lot of these popular gig employment opportunities, they're missing a key element of ide an ideal business, residual income. So let me ask you, what do Warren Buffett, Jeff Bezos, Oprah Winfrey, and Bill Gates all have in common? Well, besides the fact that they've all amassed these incredible billion dollar fortunes, they all also understand the power of leverage through residual income. They understand that the way to build wealth is not by trading time for money, but it's instead about making wise investments of time and money that generate income well after the work is done. So, I mean, that doesn't mean you stop working altogether, but what it does mean is that you have freedom to sometimes just take a step back from the day to day. That if you can't go into work one day, it doesn't mean that you have no income. And COVID-19 has really highlighted the importance of this. Because if you're an Uber driver or a spaza shop owner or a, uh, what else is another example? Maybe a hair stylist. And last month you were doing great, getting lots of business. Now what? What's happening this month when will you still get paid this month when you're in lockdown and you can't do your job? Not a chance. And that's the scary thing, right? So the question becomes, how do you create residual income? And so, it requires choosing a business with some key attributes. So I wanna take a look at these key attributes. Number one, we need to find a business, a gig opportunity where we can offer a quality product or service that is essential, that people will continue to purchase month after month and year after year in a growing market segment and a product that works. Um, number two, with a proven business model. So something that enables you to grow and leverage the work of other people who join you. So you're in business for yourself, but not by yourself. And number three, an added bonus, if people work with you as business partners and not for you as employees. We're seeing how just how important this is right now also, where a lot of business owners, people who are starting businesses, they're not able to pay their full salaried employees. But if you can have an opportunity where you're not on the line for salaries yet, you can still pro uh, show them a way to make their own income, that is powerful. And number four, an even bigger bonus if you're able to make a positive impact on the lives and the well being of your customers and business partners. Because at the end of the day, like our impact that we're able to make on others, it's everything. Plus, I mean, it should be something that's fun. It's something that you can enjoy, not just as a job, but as a career, as a passion. And now I'm just gonna stop sharing my slides now and, and talk to you person to person because 
You know, it's important, I believe, that we see the big picture, that we understand what's going on. But at the end of the day, we're not dealing with numbers here. We're dealing with people. And I have to say that it is only by the grace of God that everything we've been doing as a company with Neolife has really perfectly positioned us for this very moment. Um, if we look at the facts, dietary supplement has reached all-time highs around the world. And in the U.S., uh, it's 77% of Americans report they consume a daily dietary supplement. And I know that in Africa, this is fast growing as well. Consumers are searching for products that are safe, that are effective, and that are going to help them build and protect a strong immune system. Neolife is the perfect solution for that. And the skincare industry, another industry that we're a part of that is booming. It's fueled by informed consumers who just want like natural and clean products. And Nutrients Organic, our skincare line, is perfectly positioned to fill that solution or to be a solution to fill that need. Um, I saw a, a study last week also, or maybe two weeks ago, where Euromonitor in, uh, showed that there's been an increased demand for hand dishwashing products. So I was like, hmm, interesting. So John Miller on the SAB actually also just posted about this on Facebook. If you look at the structure of the COVID-19 virus, it's held together by this lipid membrane. And so a fat membrane. And what's happening is people are realizing that products that help break down lipids, that break down fats, like a dishwashing soap that cuts grease, that's gonna naturally break down the virus. And the alcohol and hand sanitizer works similarly, or the disinfectant that we have. And so golden home care products are also another product line that we offer that's just perfectly positioned for this. There has never been a greater need for our products and we need to reach out and educate people. Now, the exciting thing about all this is that we know huge demand equals huge business opportunity. So how do we shift into the future of work? How do we take advantage of what's happening now and cultivate a meaningful and purpose-driven life? So, and when I say take advantage, like I'm not talking about it in a negative way. I'm not saying take advantage of people, but I'm saying take advantage of this opportunity for yourselves, show it to the people around you. Because if we look at the future of work, what do people need more than anything else? They need a solution where they can make extra money and work from home. And for just a fraction of the cost that it would cost to start a traditional business startup, you can start your own Neil Life distributor business for the same amount of money you'd spend taking a couple of friends out to dinner. You can instantly launch an e-commerce site. And this e-commerce site gives you, allows you to sell products that people are literally searching for. We are an essential business at, at Neolife. And I have to say, like, it's been exciting to see how our supply teams, our manufacturing teams are stepping up, ramping up productions, their production, they're continuing to innovate, invest in new products and technology that's going to help you share even better. And our business partners around the world are thriving. I mean, we have distributors around the world who are having record-breaking months because of what's going on, because of the action that they're taking. And so I want to ask you a question. And I believe your answer to this question could change everything. How are you going to treat the next few weeks? This is a very unique time where literally everyone is talking about health all the time, all the time. I haven't had a single conversation in the last month where it hasn't come up. Now is the time to start focusing on exploding new life business growth, to start sharing with people when this comes up, to start bringing it up yourself and share with them. We have the choice to either see this as a time to do nothing or relax, sit back, 
or we can see this as the single biggest wealth creation opportunity of our generation. I believe that's what this is. The single biggest wealth creation opportunity of our generation. So what do we do next? How do we do it? Well, we need to connect. We need to reach out to people, make phone calls, have online events, um, do wellness checks with everyone you know, check in on them, ask how are they doing? Are they taking care of their health? Are they interested in learning more about how supplements can support their health goals? Um, and this, I, I actually had an experience with this a couple of weeks ago, or I, I have an experience with this every single day when I'm talking to my friends, but a a couple of weeks ago, I, I reached back out to someone who I had had a, we, my, me and my friends have these like little parties on Zoom where we get together, we'll, we'll have maybe a glass of wine. I apologize if you haven't been able to get your glass of wine because of um, what's going on with the lockdown over there. Uh, but we just have a fun time where we're checking in. And one of these times, um, I forgot to ask one of the girls if, she wanted to learn more about the supplements or was taking supplements. Um, I know she had taken them in the past from Neil Life, but I hadn't checked in with her in a while. And when I reached back out, I was surprised to hear her say, you know, I've been wanting to reach out to you. I just didn't want to bother you. And so people want to hear from us. They, they're scared for their health. They want to know that they're doing everything they can to take care of it. And this is an opportunity for everyone who wants to join our mission to make the world a healthier and happier place. And so I wanna give a few examples. Um, so I've spoken to some moms recently who have young children and they're having a lot of trouble with the online curriculum. They're saying like, you know, my kids are just not the kind of kids they're gonna focus in front of the computer all day. Um, and then I'm not gonna like, I have a job to do. I'm not going to be with them side by side all day long at the computer either. But they want their kids to keep learning. And a lot of parents also, their kids might not have access to these e-learning or online learning experiences. And so they're looking to transition to more real life, real world experiences. So what better real world experience is there than learning how to start and run your own business? We have multi-generational Neolife businesses around the world um, and we see it happening every day. I want to encourage parents to involve your kids, to make it fun, make it a learning experience and start a business together as a family. Maybe for a couple hours each day, um, just when you're making phone calls to reach out to people, when you're doing wellness checks, maybe you make the call and their job is to take notes or maybe write down the order. Or how cute would it be if that, your little ones were to say, hi, I'm calling to make sure you're staying healthy. If they help you on that, to initiate that phone call. There are so many ways to make this fun at the same time that you're making an income and an impact. Now, another big area I wanna talk about that we need to realize how big of an opportunity this is in these next few weeks is the service industry and hospitality workers. So at this very moment, right now, some of the people who are the best at connecting with others, at building relationships, at serving customers, they are stuck at home. All the people who work in hotels and restaurants and real estate, they're stuck at home with nothing to do, with no income. And in the past, they might have, you know, not wanted to take a look at what we have to offer because they're just so busy. They might have thought that they're too busy to make time for Neo Life. But right now is the time to reach out right now. This week, next week, the next few weeks are, might be the only chance that we have to reach some of these people. And, you know, I actually think we're mistaken if we think that they're all going to be getting their jobs back when lockdown is over. Because do you think that a restaurant who has to now have all of their customers six feet apart 
do you think they're going to need the same amount of servers to run the restaurant? Uh, I don't think so. I, I don't think that anything is going to go back to normal. I think we're going to see a new normal. Um, and a lot of these people who have been laid off or who haven't been able to work are still not going to go back to the job they once had. And there are people that you can reach that nobody else can. And so I want to encourage you to make it a goal to reach out to at least two people every day and get over that feeling that you're bothering them. I know I have that feeling a lot of times, but you're at this very moment, you're not bothering anyone. Most of us are just stuck at home. And with what's going on, um, I think it's, it can be very simple to talk to people. We don't have to get really fancy or anything, but we can just say something like, um, even for people we don't even know, we can be reaching out. And you can say something like, with what's going on, I'm focused and productive on my home-based business. And I know we don't know each other, but I see that you are a real estate agent. And we work with a lot of people who are real estate agents to help them make extra money from home. So would you be open to taking a look at what we're doing to make some extra money? And if not, no worries. Or even we can be reaching out to people who have said no before. We can say something like what I just said, or I know this isn't a fit for you based on like what you've told me in the past, but do you know anyone who would be interested in making some extra money from home right now? Because I'm focused on building my home based business. We have such an incredible opportunity and responsibility to shape history through the actions that we take over the next few weeks. And our families and friends need to realize that as this COVID-19 tragedy passes, now is not the time to become complacent. Now is the time to prepare for that next unexpected assault that will come, whether it's on our health or our economy. We can choose to see this as the biggest wealth creation opportunity of our generation. And we are perfectly positioned we're not a profit maximizing business. We're a purpose maximizing business. And in addition to all the people out there who need to have a solution to make an extra income or take care of their health, there's also a lot of people who need our community. There's so many people who are lonely, who, who need people who are loving, who, are, who they can do life with, um, that are gonna give them some kind of hope it's crazy to see the negative health consequences of being lonely. The Harvard Business Review about a year ago came out with a study that showed the effects of loneliness are equivalent to smoking 15 cigarettes a day. That is, it's terrible what it does to our health and we can offer hope to those people. I believe without a doubt that we will come out of this stronger. Everything that's happening, it's going to force us to just be better as businesses, as individuals. It's going to force us to focus more than ever on offering real value to others, to be more patient and more kind and more loving. And it's going to force us to appreciate all the things that we take it for granted, like our relationships, our health, our freedom. I have to say that there has never been a more exciting time to be doing what we're doing. Thank you for your partnership. We are going to be the single biggest force behind ending the trend of poor health and poverty, giving people hope for a better future. Thank you so much for being a part of our Neolife family, uh, for all of our leaders out there who are making all of this possible. And I hope to be with you again in the near future. I love you all. God bless you all. Um, and have a fantastic rest of your evening. God bless. Fantastic. Thank you, Kendra. Thank you for giving us your time. It was great to have you on the call with us. And you know, there, there are so many benefits to be, being a part of this Near Life family. You, you know, Near Life is a place where you can achieve magnificent health. You can achieve success in this gig economy. But what I like most about this Near Life family is you get to hang around with a group of people that find purpose 
and passion in uplifting others that find purpose in making a positive difference in the world around them. So if you were a guest with us on this call, it was great to have you with us. And if a opportunity in this gig economy or a home-based business is on the cards for you, I'm going to make a suggestion that you get back to the person or reach out to the person who got you onto this call, get your questions answered so you can make an informed decision. Uh, but to all of you, from myself, Drew McDermott, and from the entire Neil family, we wish you health and prosperity. God bless you all.